Kincaid, the adorable new addition to the Murphy household, which already has a family dog <coughs> and two cats. Oh, that's Stanley, and Stanley's not supposed to be on the counter. Kincaid is plenty of fun, and he is different from their other pets. He's got a better destiny one day. The Murphys got this puppy through Canine Companions for Independence, which recently opened a new location in Irving. It matches specially trained dogs with wounded warriors, special needs children, and others who could use the help of a dog. But a lot happens before those dogs are ready to work. Here's where it begins. The Murphys volunteered to be puppy raisers. Volunteer puppy raisers are these really incredible people. They take an eight-week-old puppy and they keep them in their home for a year and a half and they do all the hard work of potty training them, oh. and teaching them the basic commands. That was a good sit. So they really lay a foundation for our dogs that are gonna go on to help somebody with a disability. At this early stage, the Murphys are working to get Kincaid to recognize his name. Oh, good, as soon as he looks me in the eyes, he gets a treat. It's been exciting. He's pretty quiet you know, the first few weeks and now he's kind of starting to be a puppy. He's fun to have around. I mean, I mean, I can't wait till he gets bigger and I can start taking him out into the pool and start swimming with him when he's older. You ready? Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good. Get old. Always fun to watch, but the training is not always this active. And I just want to watch TV and kind of chill for a little bit. Then I just sit here and we practice cradling. Good boy. And then this just gives me a chance to watch TV. It teaches him to relax. Canine Companions really likes for their puppies to learn a good cradle. This allows people to trim his nails, brush his teeth. And as we can see, no one has to worry about their family dog named Tug feeling left out. He was my boy. Hey, I've been wanting to meet you. Kincaid got to meet his namesake, U.S. District Judge Ed Kincaid at Canine Companions in Irving. The judge is credited with leading the push to get this campus in Texas. You're the real Kincaid, now try not to embarrass you, okay? Kincaid, the canine, and his family come back here for regular classes during the 18 months that they raise him. They even tell you what to expect at certain ages. You know, your puppy should be doing this, or don't be surprised if your puppy is doing this, or... So that kind of stuff is wonderful. They really help you a lot. The new Irving campus is the first of its kind in this part of the country. We just couldn't have asked for a better welcome from the area. And now Canine Companions is hoping more local families will want to raise puppies. We have a big need for our assistance dogs here in the state of Texas, and so all of the dogs that are placed in Texas are also raised in Texas, which means we need a lot of volunteers to raise those puppies. In fact, people in need of a fully trained assistance dog are put on a waiting list that can be up to two years. So getting more puppy raisers could only help. We have a pretty wide range of puppy raising families, whether it's young professional couples, families with kids, uh, recent retirees, or empty nesters. Puppy program manager Becca Bell hears inspiring success stories. We had one little girl um, who had suffered from a rare type of seizure disorder, and so her hands were just clenched all the time. And no matter what type of therapy they tried, they couldn't get her to relax her hands. And within two days of being matched up with her canine companion's dog, she had rel relaxed her hands so that she could stroke the dog's fur. And sure, there are plenty of cute moments with a puppy full of energy. No drive-by, huh? and maybe even some mischief with a microphone. They're just going. But without a doubt, the hardest moment comes at the end of 18 months. It's really hard to turn a puppy in. The Murphys have raised three other puppies, including Earl here. The family has learned a lot. Our first puppy was our hardest. He really was. When we, and not hard to train, but hardest to give up. And you're gonna make me cry already, but, um, but I was very attached to him. Still hit my gift. <laughs> that dog, Tyler, is now with Adam. In regular updates the Murphys receive, they hear how Adam has developed not only more independence, but also more confidence since receiving the dog they raised. Once we found out who Tyler's new owners are and how much value he brings to the little boy that he serves, oh, it's wonderful. Sit. It's too early to say where Kincaid will be placed. After he is raised here, he goes back to Canine Companions for about six months of advanced training. Get. Allo has completed that training and is ready to go to work. Yeah, good job! There are always more lessons to learn. We do have to kind of keep the dog's interest. Um, she's been pushing doors for about five months now, so she's, she's like, oh, this is easy stuff. Yeah, a lot of people worry that these guys don't get any free time to just be a dog, but they certainly do. <laughs> Not every dog passes the training, and those that don't are put up for adoption. Not all of them are cut out for it, and that's okay. My second puppy that I raised, 
she just didn't want to work. She would kind of shut down, become overwhelmed, and again, I love this program because they don't force the dogs to do something that they don't want to do. Oh, you just think about him helping somebody. Everyone seems to have high hopes for Kincaid. Back at home with the Murphys. We love our dogs. They bring unbelievable amount of enjoyment and fulfillment to our lives. And having the campus in Irving makes it easier for them to stay involved. It was kind of fun going to California, though. <laughs> for now, they are loving the time they have with Kincaid. They uh, come out of their shell and they become a puppy. It's going to be hard giving him up, though. He is he's stinking cute. But they also focus on his potential and can only imagine the lives he may impact in just a couple of years. When you see who they go to and you see how much they're helping somebody, it's all worthwhile.